Today I'm introducing the addition of decimals with models. So let's take a look at a problem like 1.08 plus 0 0.45. It's really important to be able to identify your place values. And so I see that I have a full 1. I have two place values that show tenths. And I show two place values that show hundredths. So what I love about grid paper and having um, graphing notebook paper for our notes is that I can use this to make uh, my 10 by 10 grids. The reason why I'm doing a 10 by 10 grid is because 10 times 10 is 100. And so that can take me to the hundredths place of decimals. So let me count 10 boxes down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And over... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now I can go ahead and draw my box. My square. Maybe helpful to have a graphing, a uh, protractor with you. All right. So the ones represents a full square. So in fact, I already have one of these entirely filled in. And so I'm going to show you that, in fact, I'm going to need more than one because I already have one as part of this problem. So let me draw another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what I can do about this full one, I'm going to do the bottom square. Instead of wasting my time trying to fill in all the little tiny squares, I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know what, I have one full square in my problem. So I'm going to go ahead and shade in one full square. So now I'm left with 0 0.08 and 0 0.45 that I have to add. Well, it just so happens that in my tenths place, which is in orange, I have 0 and 4. That means I have four 10 bars. So I'm going to go ahead and draw four 10 bars. 1, 2, 3, 4. I know each of these is one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth. And so I don't waste a lot of time filling all these out individually. I'm going to go ahead and shade in one, two, three, four. Now I look at the hundredths. The hundredths, there's an eight and a five. And so I'm going to color in eight and I'll color in five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then five more. One, two, three, four, five. Well, notice what happened here. I actually filled in a whole nother tenth bar, and then I have three one hundredths left here. So now I can add this whole thing together and get my decimal. I have one full square, so that's one. Point, I have one, two, three, four, five tenth bars, so that goes in the tenths place. And then I have one, two, three, one hundredths. And that's my answer. And so to review, we have our ones, we have our tenths, 
and we have our hundredths.